All right, so let's play around with drive modes. These are located in the car menu feature under driving, and there's a couple of ways you can, you know, customize the driving experience. Acceleration from chill to sport, steering from comfort to standard to sport, regenerative braking, low and standard, and then stopping mode. You have both creep, roll, and hold. So let's play around with each of the settings and see how it changes the feel of the vehicle. All right, so I've been driving in this setting. So we've got sport acceleration, sport steering, uh, standard regeneration, and then actually it's been on hold for the stopping mode. Let's start with stopping mode. So let me shift it to drive. For the stopping mode, when you do come to a full stop, it's in the hold feature. So that means I'm lifting my foot off the accelerator. And once we come to a full stop, the car is not going to move forward any further. Uh, let's put it into park and let's try roll instead. So I'm going to do the same thing. So uh, I got to put it into drive. Still getting used to this thing. All right, I'm going to pull forward and now I'm going to lift my foot off the uh, accelerator. Yeah, we're still rolling, so we're not coming to a stop. This is more like a traditional gas-powered engine where even though you lift your foot completely off the accelerator, you are still moving forward a little bit. Gotta be honest, I don't like that. I really like the hold feature. Let's try one more. So now I'm gonna put it into creep and see what the difference is between creep and roll. It says slowly move when the pedals are released. So I have released the brake pedal. I am not touching the accelerator. We're not moving right now. Let me uh, give it a little bit. Again, ugh, gotta put it in a drive. All right, taking my foot off the brake. We are not moving forward. I'm giving it a little bit of acceleration. Let me go around this median and then uh, I will take my foot off the accelerator and let's see what happens. All right, foot off the accelerator and we're still moving forward ever so slightly. All right, I'm going to put the brake pedal, take my foot off the brake, and now we're moving forward just a little bit. So again, kind of like uh, a traditional gas-powered engine. Uh, I got to tell you, I really do like the hold feature, so I'm going to keep that on. Uh, let's look at regenerative braking. So right now, shift it back into drive, when I take my foot off the accelerator, there's actually kind of a dramatic reduction in speed. You can feel the regeneration just take over and slow the vehicle down. Actually feel a pulling backwards. Uh, it's pretty apparent. I like it because each time I do it, I know that I'm saving a little bit of extra fuel economy. It's always a good thing. But let's put it on low and see what kind of a difference there is. So it's standard, you lift that foot off and you're definitely stopping quickly. Now in low, ow. I mean, let me go a little faster. Yeah, I guess it's slightly less. It doesn't feel quite as abrasive. I mean, when you have it on standard and you lift your foot off the accelerator, you're stopping pretty quickly. Like you really do feel it grinding you to a halt. And uh, it was a little weird at first, but I've actually gone across them to it. And since it improved my fuel economy, I'm gonna keep it on standard. Uh, couple more let's let's play around with the steering so I've been having on sport and I gotta say I love how tight uh, the thing turns it's just fantastic let me shift it into standard now yeah it feels a little looser you know this there's like a slight delay uh, when you turn the steering wheel until the car actually turns and you need a, a little bit more of a wheel turn to get it to uh, go around and actually and make a turn. So I'm actually making like a 90 degree turn of the steering wheel, actually more like 180, to get it to go around that corner. I like sport so much better. Let's go into comfort and see uh, what the difference is. Oof, yeah, this is much, much looser. Uh, you really do have to turn the steering wheel dramatically more to get it to move. Man, I like sport, I'm keeping it on sport, no doubt about it, um, but that's kind of fun. Also on sport, I feel like almost like a little bit of feedback. Like it, it takes a little bit of muscle to get it to uh, to move, and I just like that. I feel like I'm actually having to pull the wheels to make the vehicle turn, and then uh, that's pretty fun. All right, let me take it out on the street because I don't know, accelerating in the parking lot isn't quite as much fun as being out here in in this office park where there's some nice curves for us to go around. So let me do that real quick. No traffic. 
We're in sport right now, and I gotta say, the instant you hit that accelerator, woo, you are rocketing forward, and uh, it is addictive, and something that I'm gonna really, really miss when I have to return this vehicle in the next hour. Let's put it on chill, uh, and see what kind of difference it is. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push down on the accelerator. Oh, wow. Okay, this is probably the most dramatic difference of, out of all the settings. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm in a gas-powered engine again. I mean, you don't hear the engine revving up, but uh, there's like, you know, maybe two or three heartbeats before you feel yourself really being pulled forward. Um, it's nice, but I mean, that's not the reason I want to drive a Tesla. So I'm keeping it in sport. So for me, at least, my preferred setting is sport for acceleration, sport for steering, standard regeneration, and then I like that hold feature for the stopping mode. But what's cool is uh, you might be pretty different and you might like a different setting. So I really, if you get a chance to drive one of these, I encourage you to play around because it does change how the car feels uh, pretty dramatically. All right, so that's pretty much everything on drive modes. If you're interested in longer form reviews of the Model 3 or the Model Y, I'll put links in the description. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you join me next time when I'm back renting and reviewing another rental car. I'll see you then.